Welcome to video lecture series on digital image processing. Today we are going to discuss about the fundamental steps in digital image processing. You can find a block diagram. Here each block represent a fundamental steps in digital image processing. The important thing to note is that each block remains independent and this is not a flow diagram that uh, completes one after the other okay so we will start with image acquisition which is the very first step it is a process of acquiring an image or a video in the case of a real image the capturing device can be a dslr camera or a smartphone in the case of an imaging modality a medical imaging modality it can be x-ray ct mri etc in the case of a satellite image it can be a satellite imaging device so depending about the imaging modality the acquiring device can be different once acquired it can be sent to any of these steps for further processing so first we will discuss about image enhancement Enhancement means highlight certain features of interest in an image so that the image looks better. It is subjective process. Image enhancement is a subjective process. Now moving on to image restoration. Restore means restore a degraded image. An example. Okay. A blurred image can be restored to a good clarity image restoration normally we use mathematical models or probabilistic model for image restoration then comes color image processing earlier when the area of digital image processing emerged we had color camera separate grayscale image separate okay so that then color image processing was always dealt differently it deals with different color models etc then comes wavelets and multi-resolution processing this is not part of our syllabus so i'm not going to explain in detail gives some form of representing images in various degrees of resolution it is mainly used for compression and for some pyramidal representation then comes compression Compression use many methods. One is uh, based on wavelet. There are so many other methods for that. An example for compression can be JPEG file format. Join Photographic Expert Group is the expansion of JPEG. JPEG is a famous compression standard. So compression is mainly used for reducing the storage required to save an image. Or nowadays we can say that Compression can be used to reduce the bandwidth required to transmit an image. Then comes morphological image processing. It deals with the tools for extracting image components that are useful for representation and description of shape and other structures present in an image. Now one thing to note is that see this output of the processor generally are images see this output of all these step is an image so once image is restored or once image is enhanced or once an image is compressed we will get an image as result okay we are processing an image after that the output is also again an image but the steps given here steps given here morphological processing gives some attribute attribute to represent the shape present in an image segmentation segmentation segments the some region of interest segmentation segments some region of interest from an image for example if you have a flower in a green background segmentation extracts the some attributes that represent the shape of the flower then representation and description is methods they are methods used to describe the shape of an object 
we have different methods that we will see in detail uh, towards the end of the subject means object recognition recognition means assigns a label to an object the object recognition assigns a label to an object based on the descriptors for example face recognition recognizing a certain face then comes the biggest block in the fundamental step knowledge piece this is the knowledge about a problem domain okay and it is coded in an image processing system in the form of knowledge base for example if it is representation and description the representation method description methods are given in the knowledge base okay so to to implement certain methods to implement for the implementation certain knowledge is required or certain algorithms are required that is represented in knowledge knowledge base so that's all about the fundamental steps in digital image processing and thank you for listening